Here is the host that became sound again in record time thanks to previous cases. About two years ago this grey was lame in the front right leg and a tear in the collateral ligament had been diagnosed through MRI. Rehabilitation and treatment lasted a year. He returned to competing but after the third competition was definitely lame again and the ultrasound and x-ray reconfirmed the previous diagnosis. At this point the Gray's vet injected the coffin joint and navicola bolsa, but after two months of rest the hose was still lame so the owner decided to send him to me to be treated. The horse's X-ray shows an increase in the distance between the two phalanges inside the yellow circle that could mean a new tear in the collateral ligament. In the ultrasound we can see that the medial collateral ligament is very enlarged, with the lesion outlined in yellow, but the most serious lesion should be in the distal area, invisible to the ultrasound, because it is inside of the hoof, therefore I decided to inject the cells in the distal part of the ligament. Thinking that it was the relapse of the whole lesion, I also used ozone therapy because it had helped me in other cases. When I saw the horse trotting, I thought that they wanted to prove that my stem cell treatment was useless because the grey was terribly lame and I was not sure my treatment would work. But through my previous experiences on this pathology I applied my new protocol. Off with the shoes, a blood sample taken and then a week later the first stem cells injection into the joint, collateral ligament, tendon sheath, local perfusion and intravenous. The next day I did ozone therapy intravenously. Three weeks later I repeated the treatment and we can see the result 10 days after this, about 45 days after the horses arrived. Incredibly, the horse had improved by 90% and was sent home to rest without shoes for another three months. Finally, a new valid way to treat pathologies considered to be almost incurable.